My name is Darren Cranford. I'm the visual effects director here at Keyframe Digital Productions. As a director, I mostly I am talking with the artists and getting them to, to get the vision of the show and understand what the story points are and we figure out the best way to accomplish the visual effect uh, that's needed for the show in the time that's needed. Visual effects has grown over the years to encompass, I think, almost every show. The world of Valkyrie, the world of, you know, Bo, our Fey world, I don't think would exist without our assistance. I'm just working through the visual effect on that. So it's really just... Yeah, Keyframe have a, you know, a big job to do on this show. It's always interesting seeing how they, how they turn out um, after the fact, but, you know, the guys are always there. Clint and Darren are, one of them's always there on the day that we're doing the visual effects and they sort of supervise and make sure that you know, we all know sort of how the glows work and the, you know, the different eye effects, but um, yeah, over the years we've done some incredible things. For the Velcro face, we wanted something a little unsettling, a little unnerving all the time, but again, something that we could achieve without disrupting on set. We'll film the scene with my face normally and go right through it. And then Clint will come in and one of the makeup artists will come in and they put dots at very specific points on my face. The tracking marks give the artist a way of locking to the character's face and manipulate it in an easier fashion. You'll notice that the eyes will actually shrink. They shrink and sink into her head. Um, and that's why we have the tracking marker, so when she turns sideways, they, we, they're pushed back into the head more. It wasn't at all what I thought it, it would have been like, though. I thought it was going to be more like a skull, and it was just really evil. <laughs> For the wolf face, I wanted to try to get it as wolf-like as possible. Uh, we tried pulling the snout and stuff like that. We didn't want it to look vampiric. We made sure that we were raising the ears a little bit, so you will we'll notice that his ears will rise and start to point, his eyebrows will go down. It took a while for me to figure out the wolfing out stuff. I mean, I worked, did a lot of mirror work in the beginning. And then, no, the breath and the energy, like I've done lots of different energy work in the past. What I'm doing is I'm just charging myself up. It looks cool, God. I mean, who, who doesn't want to look like a superhero on screen? <laughs> You've got these actors who are very beautiful and you've got to turn them into something that's unsettling and, and creepy looking and that's what we were going for. They did a great job on that and also on my wings. They did such an amazing job and I was, I was very pleased. It's great to have a relationship with the actors at all points. The actor will come up and say, what is actually happening? Walk me through what is, what, what am I seeing? What am I acting to? What is going to be there? We like to bring in our demo reel or bring in other elements, other shows that we've worked on to make sure that the actor is comfortable with what we have to do. It's interesting too for the actors to sometimes be really reacting to something that's not there. So it's kind of been a part of their daily lives too and something you have to get used to. It may seem really odd on set, but the bigger and broader it is for, for them, it, it'll look more realistic later on when we add the stuff in. 